Welcome back to Ebony Island. Uh, everything is ready to harvest. I went ahead and slept for a few months until everything caught back up to where it's supposed to be. Our grass has grown up and our wheat is now ready to harvest. So what I think I'm going to do is I'm going to get the uh, harvester set up harvesting wheat for us. And I think I can get that to, um, if I put this trailer over by that field, I can get it to offload by itself into the trailer. So I'm going to go ahead and get this set up, get the harvester ooh, doing its thing. That's if I can get it out of the shed. And then I will grab the, the mower. We'll go to the grass fields. And I will harvest the, the grass myself. And then we'll bail that up so we can get that rocking into silage. I'm just going to wait. I haven't sold the silage that we have. But I want to get everything going so we can make a little money. Because next month, I believe, uh, 196, which is sorghum. Yes, field 196, I believe, will be ready next month. Do, 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 do. Where is sorghum? There it is, yeah. That should be ready to go next month, and that costs 55000 Right now we have $3,000. So between the wheat and the silage we get off there, I want to buy that next month so that we can buy it when it's ready to harvest so we can make a little money off it. Actually, I don't need to bring this trailer over there. Uh, what am I going to do here? Got myself a bit stuck. Let's park this. Just need to get the header. But I will go ahead and get horse play going on this field. And then uh, get everything going and harvested. So I'll see you soon.
Well, now that that's done, let's uh, collect the wheat that we got from, oh, from that field that we expanded the grass into. So that gives us 15,000 liters total. And let's figure out where we're going to go sell this. Oh, do, 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 do. Not you, you. Wheat. Oh, farm production. Where are you? Is that the one that was up on that little island? Yes. Okay, so it's up here in the back. So let's drive over there. And we're going to sell the wheat. I'm not going to do anything else with the wheat field right now. Uh, I do want to roll the grass fields today. That way they're fertilized. That should give us, I believe, 100% fertilized on those. Let's see, grass fields. Yeah, they're half fertilized right now. If we roll them, they'll be fully fertilized. Looks like we need lime over there, but we're not going to worry about wheat. we got a couple months. Yeah, we don't... No, no, no. Do, do, do. Yeah, till till September... And we have at least next month. The next month, I want to sell silage bales and the straw bales, which we only have four straw bales total. Those three plus the one sitting over by the silo. But that's okay. We'll sell them anyway. So silage bales and the straw bales. We're going to sell the wheat today, and hopefully that will give us, between all of that, enough to buy that sorghum field. Because then we can harvest the sorghum. And then, when's the sorghum get planted? That gets planted not until April. wonder if we should keep that as a sorghum field. Or if we should turn it into something else. Oh, we could plant corn there. Do we have a planter? That's a good question. I don't think I do. So we probably won't be able to plant any corn until we can afford to buy a planter. So we're going to have to plant something that we can plant with the cedar that we have. So we'll probably just plant sorghum again. Or maybe we'll switch to barley. Some other grain crop. Well, let's see, this is, there was a left-hand turn, oh, there it is, past this little hill. I did turn off the vehicles, so there's no traffic in this. Now we can drive in the middle of the road instead of trying to keep to the left lane. The uh, course play really seems like they don't like, ooh, actually, you should, yeah, they're back. I don't know if I should collect those or not, because we already collected them once. We'll leave them for later. Uh, the cores play really seems like they don't like the small fields. I think next time we go to harvest a field, I should do probably one or two headlands and then get the cores play started. Ooh, we're struggling up the hill. That way they have plenty of room to turn around on the field. I didn't collect this one before. I didn't even see this one before. It's not letting me collect. Or is it not really there? Oh, there we go. We just had to be above it. It was $5,000 for that one. I didn't even notice that before. I did see the one up on the light bulb back there, but... Again, I don't think we have anything tall enough to grab that off the light pole. Let's see what... Oh, it wasn't this one. It's that one back there. Okay. Let's loop around in a circle and go over there. How do we get back there? Was there a driveway? I must have passed a driveway. Do, do, do. This little island is just full of industry, isn't it? Because there was whatever was back there. There's a 
There was logging and a rock crusher and something back in the woods over here. And then, okay, so see a driveway off the field. There, oh, there must be one right alongside that last hedgerow there under those trees. Yeah, here we go. Drove right by it. Didn't even notice it. That's okay, because we got a collectible out of it. I don't think we've been back here before. Wonder if there's collectibles back here. Is this a whole little farm? What is this? Okay. Yeah, this is a whole little farm back here. There's a cow barn. Is this sheep? Is this over here? Got some nice outbuildings. I think that's a sheep pen. Oh, that actually is chickens. Damn, it's chickens. I can't go in there. I think this is potentially. Oh, there's a collectible. I wonder if you buy this. If you buy this farm, all of these should come with it. Is this sheep or like horses? I don't know what it is. That one's definitely cows. And I'm pretty sure that one's chickens because of the feeders. Oh, this one's all closed up. We can't get in there. We can go in through the back way. Yeah, this is a cow. Cow barn. This wouldn't be a bad little farm to have either. Several of the farms on here, like if you got the um, the pick starting farm mod, I wonder if this map is set up for that. And then you could pick whichever one of these farms you wanted to start on. Any of them seems like they'd be all right. The one over by our grass fields is a nice looking farm too. This one obviously is more geared toward animal productions but i think ours is the smallest farm on the entire map Ooh, doo -doo -doo -doo. all that money's going up i love to see it eleven thousand and seventy dollars plus ten thousand from collectibles let me go ahead and Untag that place. Do, do, do. Untag. There we go. All right. I'm going to drive this back over to the farm and then grab the roller and roll that grass field. And I will talk to you once I get done with that.
Well, all right then. That's that. Go ahead and get this put away. And uh, I think that's where we're going to end it for today. Next time when we come back, we'll sell the silage and the straw. And uh, hopefully buy that sorghum field we just passed. And we'll get that harvested. Yeah, we're well on our way to making our little empire. Gonna add another field next time. Make our empire a little bit bigger. Get a little bit closer to our goals. I'm feeling good about it. How are you feeling about this? I hope you're feeling good about it as well. I don't remember where I, I think this is where I had this. Oh. He's not turning right. There we go. All right. Yes. Wonderful. Good. We've got a little bit of money in our pockets again. Not a lot, but a little bit. Next time we should have substantially more, hopefully, from that silage. And then spend it all right away on a new field. Because that's the way the things go. You don't get to keep money. You just get to borrow it for a little bit. But yes, thank you so much for watching. I'm super glad you've been here. I hope you had a good time. I did. And I will see you next time. Have a wonderful day. Bye.